Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Iceplate here, just for a quick fix video for a game. Uh, the game we're dealing with today is Trackmania Nations Forever. Although this is a very old game, I mean this was released in 2008 already, it's still fun to play, there's still people playing it, actually a lot of people playing it. And um, the issue occurs when you click on play game, it gives you a message that it needs to configure graphics, allowed it, white screen so first off i left it like that because now it the last message was it's doing something with the graphics uh, it'll stay white forever it doesn't change anything it's just white screen so closed it down restarted it got the same message needs to set up something with the graphics allowed it white screen again uh, forced it to close uh, went into the configuration settings first I uh, increased the graphics uh, restarted nothing white screen decreased the graphic settings still white screen I added things to the settings D uh, took things away restarted white screen so it's not a settings issue it's issues with Windows because uh, this happened when I upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10 or basically when I was forced to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 because uh, Windows is now quitting support for Windows 7 so yeah rest in peace Windows 7 you were great gaming Windows uh, we'll see how Windows 10 do um, but the problem is the system requirements and the supported OS here says that it's Windows 2000 Windows XP Windows XP 64-bit and Vista so 7 isn't in on here but it supports 7 it's quite nice on Windows 7 but the problem that I see people are having is in Windows 8 Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 so mine is now Windows 10 and it hit me uh, even if you go down here to the reviews the second negative review would be white screen so it's this guy posted it in 2019 6th of November so it's recent it still happens I'm having it in 2020 now it's uh, it, it happens but this is an unfair review to leave there's no option that we could uh, comment on this the developers can't comment on this so if you want to leave negative reviews with uh, a problem uh, just tick the comments are allowed so we can answer you we can assist you gamers could help you here the developers could maybe also answer you but this is this is unfair this is in 2019 for a 2008 game with a windows era basically it's nothing to do with the game so you can't as expect the developers to jump into the future in 2008 and go to 2019 see there's a new windows released and then write a patch or fix for the future uh, it's a Windows problem, it's not a developer's problem or the game problem. So the fix is actually very easy, it's a two-step fix. Go through it quickly. Uh, you go to your PC, then you go to where your Steam games is installed. My Steam is installed on my C drive where the SSD is, and then the files is on my D where it's just capacity storage basically. So you'll go to your Steam library, open Steam library, you'll go to Steam apps, and then common in common you'll find all your games you just go down to t where you'll find trackmania nations forever if it's installed on your system in that folder you'll look for nadio config file you'll select it then right click on it and the options you select edit now in this file what you're looking for is distro equals uh, mine was molux capital letters m-o-l-u-x uh, i've heard that people different pcs have different commands there but you need to change it to melon m-i-l-i-n i would leave this in uh, command in the description below the video so you can see the correct spelling and then you just close it uh, seeing now you made changes it will ask you do you want to save those changes you just say yes and all is good then you need to download a file the file is united forever although it's not for track mania nations forever it's united forever and 2010 already this fixes our problem funnily enough it does so it's a small file it's 21.4 megabytes you just download that and you install it over your original exe file you just guide it to that folder that we basically were just visiting and it will copy over and basically fix it if you start the game up then 
really done and dusted. Um, I'm going to leave the link to this file also in the description below the video. And if you're interested in a download manager, this is a very cool one. It's a free download manager. It's small, it doesn't have any issues. I ran it through this because in my uh, browser, it kept on, uh, it went all slow and slow till it reached zero and then it just stopped. It didn't finish the download. So I used the free download manager. Great little program, it works awesome. It even allows you when you're downloading huge files that, that zip format to, if the server allows it, that you can go into that zip file and select certain files within the zip file and then only download those. So it saves you a bit of data. Uh, if it's not an issue for you, it's, I'll, I'll leave this link for you. You can use it or not use it. It's just it's a very nice program. I'm, I'm loving it currently. So when you done that you'll go into trackmania everything is good you don't have to leave a negative comment for windows error and your game is fixed and you'll have fun you can see me in the game iceplate i'll i'll meet you guys there thanks for watching the video have fun and uh, subscribe or click a like if, if it worked for you if it didn't uh, it can't it works man it works for everybody so see you in game have fun guys thank you bye